Hi everyone. Welcome to Adobe After Effects tutorials. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn about some of the basic text animations that we can create in Adobe After Effects. These text animations are easy to create. They are simple and elegant. First of all, let's preview that what we are going to create. This is what we intend to create. Here we have used four effects. The first is known as the text pop-up effect. The second is the text rubber band effect. The third is rotate effect. And the fourth one is text fade in effect. So these all text animations have been created using very basic properties of the text like scale, opacity and rotation. Let's see that how they are created. For this, first of all, you need to create a new composition. So go to composition and click new composition. You can now name it anything. I'm going to name it text animation. Make sure that the frame rate is at least 30 frames per second and duration of 5 seconds is good. Now click OK. Then I'm going to create a background layer. So right click, go to new and select a solid layer. Rename it as BG for background. You can choose any color but I'm using a dark gray color with this hexadecimal value. Then click OK and again OK to create a new solid layer. The next thing we are going to do is lock this layer. Then we are going to add a background picture. This is the background picture that I'm using. So I'm going to add it just above the background layer. Hit T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity and set its opacity to 15%. Now this will give you a translucent look of the picture. Now we have to just lock this layer as well. The next thing we are going to do is add our four text layers. So the first text layer will be containing the text TEXT text. The next layer will be containing the text animations. The next text layer will be containing the text in we have to adjust its position and the last layer will be containing the text after effects now we need to select all of these layers Make sure they are aligned center horizontally. Here you will find an option of choose grid and guide options. You can just click on it and uh, select proportional grid. This will give you a grid so that you can easily align your text as per this grid. I'm going to just select these layers and move them a little bit upwards. Now this is uh, good. This looks good. A little bit more. Yes, that's perfect. Now you can just turn off this grid options by deselecting this proportional grid option. Okay, now the first thing we are going to do is add a pop-up text effect in this text layer. So select this text layer and hit S on your keyboard to bring up scale property now make sure that these two values are linked or this chain is being shown over here so we will hit the stopwatch icon over here 
to bring up a keyframe and change the value of scale to 0%. like this now move forward in time around 15 frames would be good and change the value of scale to uh, somewhat bigger than 100 percent around 150 would be all right then uh, move forward around 10 frames and change this value to around 80 percent then again move forward 10 frames and change back this value to a hundred percent now you have got four keyframes just select them all and hit f9 on your keyboard to easy ease them alternatively you can also right click over here go to keyframe assistant and just easy ease them from here for a smooth animation now the next thing that we want to do is our animation layer so for this we want a rubber band effect we are going to manipulate the scale only so just hit s on your keyboard to bring up scale and this manipulation will begin as soon as the animation of the first layer is complete so first of all we are going to delink this scale over here then we are going to manipulate the value of the x coordinate to zero now you will see that manipulating the value of the x coordinate doesn't change the value of the y coordinate because there is no link in between them. Then we are going to keyframe this scale over here. Move forward in time around 15 frames. Then change back its value to 100%. The next thing we are going to do is easy ease these both keyframes. So just select them both and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now our rubber band text animation is complete. The next thing is the rotation animation for in. For that we need to move forward a few frames. Then the in animation will begin. So hit R on the keyboard to bring up rotation set its angle to around 120 degrees and keyframe it then while this in layer is selected hit s to bring up the scale keyframe it and change its value to zero percent the next thing we are going to do is move forward in time around a few frames and while this layer is selected hit u to bring up both the keyframes change the rotation angle to zero degree and the scalability back to 100 percent then we are going to select all these keyframes and again easy ease them after this our last layer after effects animation is remaining then just move a few frames forward in time and hit T to bring up the opacity just keyframe it and change the opacity value to 0% then move forward in time around 15 frames would be good and change back its opacity to a hundred percent the next thing we are going to do is select both of these keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them now our text animation is complete. Let's have a look at what we have created so far. So for that we need to go to the first frame and just increase the dimensions of the preview screen and play it. okay so you must have noticed that an orange bar is shown here and this animation is displayed slowly so if that problem occurs you can just change its resolution to half or a quarter so that the animation will be shown in a smooth format so again we jump to the first frame and just play it
so this is what we have created and this is as you can see a pretty cool looking animation but very simple to create i will meet you in the next tutorial till then bye bye